ladies and welcome back to my channel. This is Beth from Style at a Certain Age and if this is your first time stopping by, welcome. I'm so happy that you're here. I film two videos every week. Sundays is all about style, which is today. You landed on a Sunday. And Thursdays is about beauty or perhaps travel, um, skin care. It's just kind of a mishmash of different things. Maybe some laundry hacks. I talked about that last time. You can even send in your suggestions. Uh, I love to hear them. I've already received several about cruise wear and work wardrobes and uh, different things that are already in the queue for future episodes. But today is all about the weekend because we're all working for the weekend, right? Monday through Friday is uh, kind of the, the gruel, um, I don't know, is gruel the right word, but uh, we're, we're the working Joe at uh, the nine to five job. And Friday night, we just kind of want to relax and, and let go for the entire weekend. So I put together five outfits today. They're all uh, denim. Uh, so they all have denim bottoms because so many of us wear denim day in and day out. So I thought that would be a good place to start. Maybe another time I'll do like athleisure or you know throw in some sweats. But today it's all about denim and it's five different ways that you can wear it. Are you ready? Okay, we're gonna see what we have on deck for today. Stay tuned. Who knew the turtlenecks were so controversial? But they have been in my repertoire since I was a teenager and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be wearing one until they dig my grave. So for a weekend look, I have some skinny jeans, they're distressed, not too overly distressed, we'll, we'll zoom in on the details, but a little bit of distressed, and a very light wash. Remember that light wash actually adds some pounds, so you have to be comfortable with that. Uh, but I have a very oversized, very comfortable turtleneck. This is from Zara, and I just really like how, so it has a, a kind of a step hem, so it's longer in the back, shorter in the front, I have suede mules on from Sam Edelman, and this really cool backpack. Uh, I just think backpacks are so easy to just, you know, and obviously if you throw it on your back, and then you go, and you really don't kind of have to worry about it when you're out and about shopping. So, one easy, very chic, uh, and but still on trend look for fall. The next outfit is perfect for those of you in a little warmer climate. Maybe still a little bit too hot if you're reaching 100 degrees, but this is a cotton jacket from Madewell. I like the boxy cut, although it has these great drawstrings on the inside, so you can, you can fuss with it and make it as form-fitting as you'd like, which I like about that. Uh, but it's lightweight, so it, as I said cotton. Uh, I have the sleeves rolled up and I added a little brooch. I just like to do things like that, but I have a sleeveless. So this is a sleeveless tee, uh, also by Madewell. I kept the skinny jeans in place. I threw on a belt and then um, some booties, some short booties with grommets instead of the mules. So I'll give you a look here. But uh, really this is, I had this on the other day here in Georgia and it was I think our high, about, about 80. But it's always freezing inside the store so I really felt very comfortable. Sometimes for date night, I just like to have a very casual, chic look, but it needs to be different than what I would wear during the daytime. So I do have a pair of uh, denim jeans, but these are cropped flare. These are by Ann Taylor. Uh, they're kind of like mom jeans. They're, they're a little bit higher. I kind of like them. I put a belt on from Chico's. I've got my trusty moto jacket on. I mean, if you do not have a moto jacket, I suggest you get one. I wear this all the time. And I just updated it with a um, white blouse. It still has the, the sleeve statement, or the statement sleeves are still going strong. So this is pleats right here. Uh, as you can see, this is from Talbot's. This is from their, actually their anniversary collection, uh, as well as the beautiful necklace here, the pearl necklace. They turned 70 years old this year. Can you believe it? They're older than me. And then just a cute little clutch purse, because I think a clutch purse as it, and the heels just add a little pizzazz. Uh, these heels, well, we'll get a close up, but they're not super, super high.
if maybe there's a lunch on the weekend or brunch, even better, and you want to be a little bit relaxed but a little bit more polished at the same time, a great Chanel-esque jacket is just the ticket. So this is very, it's square boxy, so it's patterned after Chanel. This is a on-season uh, Talbots. You can actually purchase it. I have the crop flare jeans again, and I wore velvet. Velvet's also very, very big and on trend. These are Kate Spade ballet flats. I brought in a very ladylike bag with the gold chain. Again, reminiscent of Chanel. And um, this is the kind of outfit that you can just layer as many necklaces or bangles on as you want to. You can put brooches, just kind of go for it. But very fun, still very casual, but, but put together for brunch. Denim on denim is a trend this year, so I chose to wear a darker rinse on the bottom, a lighter rinse on the top, just because a darker rinse always makes you a little bit thinner, uh, slimmer than a lighter rinse. Um, I just added the suede mules again to give it a casual chic look. A lot of different um, bangles over here. <laughs> bangles over here, we'll get a close up. So silver, I have a little conch belt right here, which also uh, kind of screams southwest. So I have a little suede jacket that gets a little bit chilly, and my backpack is back in action. And this is just a perfect Saturday, Sunday afternoon look for errands, for uh, drinks, cocktails, movies, date nights, football games. The list goes on and on. I hope you can see how easy it is to dress up your denim if you want to head off to brunch or dress it down a little bit if you're headed to a football game. What a versatile piece of uh, apparel that we have and I'm a blue jean mama from way back when and so happy that they come in a variety of styles. But I hope that you found a little bit of inf inspiration today. If you like the video, of course, I want you to give me a thumbs up and leave your comments behind. I love to read them. I try to answer all of them. Uh, sometimes I get a little bit behind um, with, with the answering, but I do try and do that. And thanks so much for all the love and stopping by. And I'll see you on Thursday when we're talking about something. Maybe I am going to do those laundry hacks after all. Thanks, ladies. Bye-bye.